Good morning ish, everybody. It's actually like noon, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, Kaden and I ended up sleeping in. I've been working on trying to get him back into his schedule so that maybe this whole thing won't affect him as much. And I got him to bed at like 7, and he woke up at 7, but was still tired, and we ended up sleeping until like 10, and then I got a shower, and I actually put on some makeup this morning so that I look a little more like alive. So, there's that. Um, I did, <laughs> um, after 25 hours of not hearing from my husband, he finally got to call me last night for like two minutes. Um, I guess they do get to keep their phones through reception, but they are only allowed to use it with drill sergeant permission. So, that's a bit diff- What are you doing? That's a bit different than even when I went in, so... That kind of stinks. I wish he could talk to me more. Um, it's been over 12 hours since that happened. But this morning at like 7.30, he started texting me because he had questions about like life- stuff to put on his life insurance and everything so i guess he was allowed to message me certain questions like how tall i am and things like that but um he couldn't really answer my questions there we go so anyway if you hear something in the background it's some kids commercial thing. Anyway, so I actually took some time to get dressed and whatnot, and we're working on a schedule. Obviously, we didn't really stick to it because um, we should have got up a whole lot earlier than noon, but I didn't feel like getting out of bed. Uh, I talked to, at 7.30, I talked to him for a while via text, and by talk to, I mean answered his questions, because he wasn't allowed to, it, he wasn't allowed, it looked, seemed like, to have any kind of a conversation with me at all, because at one point I asked him, he asked if I should, he should put me on his life insurance, and I was like, well, if you do, then I'll drop my policy, and he said, okay, thank you, love you, bye. And I'm like, that doesn't answer whether or not I need to cancel my policy. Like, I need to know this. But I, I reply with, you're welcome. Love you too. Bye. I right, said, so if you get a chance, please let me know if you added me so I can cancel mine. <laughs> so, yeah. That was kind of amusing. I miss him, but I know that hearing from him even less is going to be harder. I'm really hoping that the letters that like once he gets to regular basic and we start mailing letters back and forth, I hope those actually help me more like right now here getting a text from him or anything like immediately puts me in a better mood. So I'm hoping that the letters will manage to do the same. Um, Last night actually got really bad when it hit the 24 hour mark without, or well, I think it was like 23 hours without hearing from him. It got really bad. Um, I was going to record something else and I thought I had turned the camera off. Um, yeah, and I hadn't. So. I have that clip that I'm kind of hesitant almost to show because, I mean, it's, it's me extremely vulnerable. But at the same time, after some of the comments I've gotten about, you know, oh, big whoop, he's gone. It'll only be a couple months. Like, get over it. Like, you don't understand. 
like this clip will kind of give you a little bit of a feel So yeah, that was me crying pretty hard, yes, because I just couldn't deal with it. The good thing is, um, I think Caden has finally like stopped looking for him. Oh. Hold on, you got something in your neck. So, okay. Oh, or are you wanting to watch Mickey? Is that what you want? You hear it? You just can't see it? Anyway, I know that these run normally a little long, but that's because, like, I just... I don't know. I feel like for these, I don't do a whole lot of editing to them because I want any mistake that I make is normally because I'm stammering over my words from, you know, being upset. Um... And I want that raw emotion in here. I want you guys to to actually get the experience rather than me say, Oh yeah, everything's great and everything's fine. I actually think that today is the first day that I've actually been able to really smile. And I mean, I just talked to him a couple hours ago. So it's not even like... And I realized that the happier I am, the happier he is. And that's another thing is like, I think if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have got up this morning and took a shower, brushed my teeth, and put on some makeup. I might took a shower and went back to bed. Like, he is my motivation to actually like get up and continue doing this because otherwise I probably would have said screw it I don't feel like doing it today now I am feeling clingy so I am wearing my husband's shirt and technically it socks actually a while ago I cried almost like there was a tear but not hysterically but I cried because I lost a pair of his brand new socks. I mean, he hasn't even wore them. We got them from Walmart. He wore a few of them before he left and everything. But these are like brand new. And I wear them. But, uh, yeah. But I ended up somehow losing a pair between my room and the bathroom. And I'll find them. I know I will. But it, it made me upset, which was dumb. But, hey, whatever. He's watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and the screen because I'm talking to it, so he thinks he should talk to it. <laughs> so, um, today's okay. It's been, when I post this, at the time that it's posted, it will be 72 hours since he's been gone. Like, that he got on the van and left and everything. But I just talked to him, kind of, at 7.30, so it'll be about seven hours since I had talked to him. Um, I'm hoping that he gets a chance to talk to me again this evening. That'll be great. And then I gotta figure out mine and his health insurance while he's gone because supposedly we should have health insurance like right now but I am um, I have no idea how that works oh no someone just got sick all right I'm gonna wrap this up real quick like this video if you do comment below subscribe to find out when the next one comes out 
Say bye. We're going to go get changed again.